Hey guys, Xbox Games here, and this is going to be a complete walkthrough slash tutorial on uh, what to expect on, I'm probably saying this wrong, Valhum? Valhum? Anyway. Um, so this whole level, again, is one of the uh, sort of main dungeons, I guess you can say, where you got to go get the dragon masks. So you're going to have to come here eventually and get one of the dragon masks um, uh, for Labyrinthian. Uh, dragon mask area when you have all eight or whatever. <clears throat> so anyway, so here you can actually just run here. You don't need to do a quest when you come here. I actually just ran here and said, oh wow, this is a pretty cool place. Look what I found. Let's go in here and bash this place up. So the first thing that you're going to encounter here is uh, this, whatever, you know, this Evil ghostly stranger. aspiration guy. Evil stirs in this place. And he's going to go through his whole spiel. Here, I don't really care. Eventually, he just opens up the door. Not this door. For some reason, I got turned around. I went right back out the same door that I went in. So, turn back around and go through the right door that he opened. Don't do that stupid move that I just did. Anyway, you can see that I'm level 29. And uh, I do have the companion with me called the Lioness. Uh, so you can get her in white run. She's like a dual-handing weapon chick. Really, really strong. Can tank a lot of damage. Um, so, that's who I'm using. So, here we go. Um, so again, I recommend getting a lot of potions too when you come in here, uh, especially the last boss, the dragon boss is, is pretty difficult to beat. So you're going to come in here and I know he's in that thing right there, but okay, he didn't spawn. So I couldn't figure out why not. And it's because you have to get the three, um, the three potions that the previous guy, that aspiration guy asked for. He says, Hey, you need to get these three potions. And when you get them, he could spawn that, the, the mage guy there. So I figured, okay, that's fine. Let's just go in here and go get those, uh, go get those three potions out of here. <clears throat> and the three potions are all pretty easy to find if you follow a lot of these, uh, a lot of the main corridors here. You can see that Dragoo right there just got freaking beat down by that uh, swinging, uh, by that swinging um, tree right there. Again, I was just looking around, seeing if there's any goodies on the walls or anything like that, but really didn't see anything here. So of course we're going to continue deeper down into these caves. Ah oh, shucks, you couldn't open that door. Probably because that door is going to be the one that you come out, you know, at the end after you sort of gotten all the, uh, after you've gotten all the items, you, you get to freely come out that door so you don't got to loop all the way back. So here, just taking a look around, I was thinking, okay, there's nothing much that I can see here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I didn't think it was going to open right then and there, but a nice little trap door. I don't recommend falling in here. Um, there's some goodies on the ground, but nothing all that great. A whole bunch of spiders here. All the spiders, of course, just do a nice dragon's breath right here. Our fire breath. Kill them all. And, of course, you're going to have a uh, dragoor uh, trapped up on the wall here. He comes off the wall and says, oh, look at me. Boom. Smash him down. So I didn't know if there's something down in here um, of a way to get out. You can see that that uh, that exit right there is expert. So I luckily was able to do it pretty quick. Again, I just skipped through it so you didn't have to see me doing that. Here and come up behind. Do a nice crushing blow to the back of the skull and kill him. And of course, move a little deeper into these caves here. Now, of course, I went up here to take a quick look to see if there's any goodies up here. Not anything that great. I mean, some uh, some arrows, some potions, anything cool on the table. Nah, just a few bucks, a few gold. Okay, no problem. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue on here. And then, of course, here you find a little of those, whatever, skewer rats. Anytime that I see the, <laughs> anytime that I see that oily stuff on the ground, I, I shouldn't have casted Fire Breath because, again, it's going to burn my guy. It's going to have a whole bunch of crap explode. So here, um, again, I don't recommend doing that for if you guys are going through here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop back on my uh, double-handed blade here and continue on. So perfect, here we go, moving deeper into these caves. We're at about a third of the way, uh, I guess you could say. And here's where you get your first potion. You're going to fight this first Death Lord. I had someone actually uh, message me and ask, you know, how I was able to beat this guy. And I was able to beat him pretty easy. I mean, uh, since it's just one of them, he's not too hard, especially if you do a running blow right in the beginning and beat him down. Um, so here, yep, go ahead and you got one of the three. So you can see he drops a nice ebony shield, a nice ebony axe if, if you use those. 
a lot of good items from that Death Lord right there. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on because I got one of the potions. And again, I was looking around where to go. You actually just run right back down the stairs and you go to the right, so it's no biggie. Uh, here, I couldn't freaking get the stupid companion out of the way. I know this probably happens to you guys all the time. And I didn't want to have to say, oh, I want to move you here. I just wanted to get her out of the way. So here we're going to continue on down into these caves here. We're looking for the other two potions. Or the other two, yeah, potions or blood or whatever's inside the bottles. So you fight a little little mob of these out in this room here. More of these uh, dragoors. And again, I'm just looking on the table for any good items that I can take. You can see there is a decent amount of them here, and these guys can definitely be troublesome for, you know, some of you guys who, who don't have heavy armor or anything like that. These guys can definitely be troublesome. So here we go. I just cut that because, you know what, I don't want to see, see you having to show you me pick that. So here, showing you what's inside the room. You know, a decent amount of stuff, a decent amount of uh, gold and some pretty sweet potions here and there. Of course, some nice ones on the wall. My father wanted me to follow in his footsteps as a hunter, but I set my aspirations a bit higher. So I'm picking up all those potions again because you're going to need it here towards the end. Um, so here, yeah, just checking out those potions, looking to see what I got. Nothing that great. A few, I think a few potions uh, of the heavier potions, whatever they're called, that give you some decent, uh, that give you some decent um, uh, magicka and stanima instead of the smaller minor ones, which are always good. So just continuing on here, just just looking. It's pretty straightforward on where to go. I mean, I mean, there's not a lot of places you can't go. Eventually, you'll you'll have to end up going the the correct way anyway. So here, just looking around, didn't see anything. Again, if there's something in that room, definitely leave it in the comments, guys. Um, for all the other Skyrim players out there, you know, looking for tutorials on stuff. So of course, I'm 20 level 29. I'm trying to hit that 30. I don't think I've hit 30 yet. So here, going to continue out into this main room where you get this nice chest right here. I mean, some decent stuff, nothing all that great. Um, and you're going to watch, and you're going to see, when I start going down these stairs, you're going to see the look of the legs right there. It's coming down. It's ready to rock and roll. But these giant spiders for my guy are super easy to beat, as well as any of the additional spiders that, that come creeping here. I thought maybe this is where the last boss uh, was going to be for this level, but it wasn't. Basically, I just ran in here, and you got a few of these... Uh, sort of off side rooms nothing really in them this is off these uh, off side rooms that have freaking spider webs in them so here we go so after I checked both those I mean there wasn't really anything People that great in them I figured the okay time to go check that body up on top of the uh, pedal still here to see if there's any goodies in it not that body this body right up here here we go check nothing I mean got some gold but I mean nothing else so here we go we're gonna go ahead and go back up these stairs and continue on into these caves so we already have again one of the um, uh, we already have one of the potions we need the other two and here again you're just uh, continuing to beat these uh, beat these dragoors down I know that these caves like this are always difficult especially for mages because you don't have time to kite these guys. That essentially, the uh, the, the uh, dragoors are like right on you. So some people are always asking me again how I beat it and things like that. So here, I'm just gonna, you know, beat these guys down because my guy has the heavy armor, so they're absolutely no problem for my guy. There we go. And any of these guys that come off the wall, man, I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to beat these guys down before they even come step off the wall. So here we go, pushing on deeper into these caves. You definitely want to, if you see that thing right off to the right there, you want to go through that gate and go grab the other potion. I didn't do it for some reason here. I actually end up going back at the end and going uh, through that gate. So here we're going to continue on to technically go get the third potion since right back where I just passed was the, uh, was the um, uh, area to get, your, to get your second potion. But I'm on the way to get the third one here. Ah! 
you can see, not too difficult beating all these guys down here. And I'm thinking about switching my guy over to uh, to one-handed weapons in each hand to, to to push out my DPS. But I haven't uh, haven't really made that made that move yet because I'm so deep into the game that uh, I didn't know if it was going to be a waste or not. So here we go, moving deeper into the caves. Pull that lever and let's go for that third potion here. I journey with my father on we are now about uh, we're about halfway through the level maybe a little over halfway go ahead and just hack and bash these guys while my uh, other chick over there my companion is shooting uh, arrows at these dudes put a little DPS on them I was actually thinking about too is changing my uh, the lioness lady there for a mage, but the mage puts out a lot of DPS, but he can't take a lot. So what happens is, especially on the last bosses, is uh, he ends up dying or you know uh, being inoperable for after like one or two hits, and then everybody just focuses on my guy, and that's really not what I want. I want uh, everybody to really focus on my companion while I am able to go on there and just beat him down. All right, so we're we're moving on here. I'm just looking around, making sure none of these uh, none of these things are gonna pop up here out of the out of the crypts. So again, just cruising here. Got a few spiders, and you can see we have a nice claw here on this door. So you want to go ahead and pick up that claw right there, the iron claw, and especially get out of, get out of the way of those things right here. So here you go. And these claw things are pretty straightforward. I mean, these claw doors are like every other claw door that you guys have run into. Or if you haven't ran into one yet, they're pretty simple. So here I am again in, in Valhume Val Hume Catacombs, however you want to say it. Um, and uh, here it is on the map. Just so again, again, you guys sort of know where it's at. Pretty easy to run to. And what you want to do is you want to take the claw that you just got right in front of that door. Right? You take that iron claw. You take a look at it. And you can see I have a bunch of claws here, and uh, you want to look at it. And if you look at it, you go up, you can see it has these three things on the front of it. So this is the combination. So you want that one, that, and then that. So you want to match that combination of uh, figures up to the figures that are right above the claw little handle there. So you want to go up. You move the first one to the same figure that it's on the first part of the claw. So you got the dragon. You got the eagle. And you got the wolf. And then of course you use the claw and it opens up the door. Now we all know when you go through these doors, it, it's business time through this other door. Usually there's some type of more difficult boss here that you'll have to fight. Um, uh, you know that you'll have to fight to kill something or get something specific. So here we go. We go through this main area, and you see that there are a bunch of uh, drag or dragoons in here, as well as another dragoon lord. And the lord's ones are always tough to you know difficult to build to kill. So I'm going to try and uh, do as much DPS as I can on this guy. And you can see, I mean, he has a decent sword. He has an ebony long sword, which definitely going to do some damage to my guy, so I got to get out of here fast. I'm going to try and heal and run while I can. So there we go. I'll pop, pop my healing. I want to try and lure them into this area where these where these fire thingies are at here. So I can go ahead and get them so I can burn them while, while, I'm, uh, while I'm fighting them. Or else these guys would be just be too much for me. So perfect. They're getting all burnt up while they're in there working great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go see if I have any more potions or anything like that because I, do, I don't want to die, right? I don't want to have to start this whole thing over again. I recommend saving, of course, any time that you can just to be on the safe side. So here we go, drinking some potion, drinking some stamina, drinking whatever I can to boost my guy up here. And of course, my huntress or brings him down. I just deal the last boat blow here. And you can see he has some very good items, especially that Ebony Greatsword. Now, I'm pretty sure you're going to get that on him every time you kill him because he is sort of one of the main bosses in here. He's not like a random Dragoor. 
So definitely, if you make that legendary, you could have a very, very sweet sword. So here we go. I didn't want to take it because, again, I mean, there's nothing I could do with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Technically, should be the third potion for you guys. Again, you should have grabbed that one way earlier for it. And then, of course, you're going to learn a nice shout up here. I love the cold there. Of I seek an aura it. whisper. I've never I used that. So now. here I'm going to go ahead and Something check out the... Uh, I'm also going to check out what's inside the... Uh, what's inside the uh, treasure chest there. There's nothing that great. So here again, I went ahead and saved. When you're all done grabbing all three of those potions, you come back out here and talk to this dude. I was worried that and again, I you could run all the way back out. I, didn't, I saved you guys a minute worth, life, you know, me running. So here we go. We're ready to rock and roll and kill this dude. Very well. When you have done so, I will unbind Hevnorak. Here we go. In a weakened state, but the lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. So you go ahead and pour some of that juicy juice right up inside this uh, this thing right here. And go take a seat on that throne like a champ. Here we go. Because I couldn't figure out what to do. I'm like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to go here on this seat. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is actually like my second or third time fighting him. Also because he just beat me down. I had to figure out a technique to, um, to bring him down a little some. So here you can see they're doing the ceremony. <clears throat> he busts out of that thing. And the first thing that I want to do is go grab my bow. And I should have gotten more arrows. I didn't. Um, you know, I can only have like 15 arrows or so. <clears throat> I'm going to show you my technique that I used here to just to kite him a little bit. I went over behind this pillar and, and sort of tried getting down on the first step of the stairs. <clears throat> and the reason why you do this is because his shock is really what's going to knock you. And so what I wanted to do is when he does the shock, I wanted the shock to try and hit the, either the pillar or the uh, uh, or the ground right in front of me because the shock usually will start high and then go low. So you can see here that pretty much I'm just going to sit here and kite him from a distance and knock at least some of his health down. And I figure, you know, him starting at maybe 75% health is definitely starting uh, starting to fight him at 80% health or 100% health. So here, not doing too bad. It's okay if he's resisting my poison. It's, it's no biggie. So you can see, just working him down right here. You can use this technique to kill him the whole way, but unfortunately, I run out of arrows, so nothing I can do. So for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm figuring, okay, no more arrows, great. I guess it's just time for me to go bash this dude. And I was actually gonna use some staffs on him, but I didn't know how well magic was gonna do against a magic, you know, dragon boss. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my, uh, get my two-handed weapon here. There we go. I'm gonna come out and run and beat this guy down. And I don't know what happens here. So I run up. Hit the guy. You can see that I did a critical strike on him, and now this dude just doesn't want to fight me. He's given up. Look at him. He's given up. He doesn't want to do anything. Anyway, so that's how I was able to beat him down and go through this whole level. Here, of course, you pick up his staff and his mask, and uh, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Again, this was a long tutorial, but hopefully it given you guys a great idea of what to expect and how to beat it, as well as any prepar uh, preparations you guys need to take before you guys come into this level. So definitely thumbs up guys and subscribe if you haven't already and thanks again for watching.